What's going on guys, Skeltos here, and today in this video we're going to do a header restoration on the Camaro. But first, I'm going to go travel out into the world and go get header paint so I can paint these headers black. And then when I get back, I'll show you guys how to take the ex how I'm going to take the exhaust off. Because it actually might be the same for certain vehicles, because it is just a Chevy small block engine with Chevy headers. So, let's see. Okay, so I went and got the header paint, I'll show you guys later what I'm using. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to start taking these headers off. So... This is my engine. It's a Chevy 350 small block. So I don't know if you guys could see, but right there, there, there's two back there. Oh, there's one right there, and there's one right there. Those are the six bolts. I guess they're bolts. Yeah, bolts I'm going to have to take out. So what I recommend is taking the hardest ones out first. So the ones that, it's so hard to see because there's no light, but there's... So you have your head, you have your header. The ones to the right, take out first. Mine have my headers have six bolts in them, so I'm gonna take the three right ones out first, and then take the three left one out. So before I pull the headers off, I'm actually gonna take the exhaust pipes off, so my my four feet of pipe and my muffler, because I realize I'm not gonna be able to get the headers out without taking those off. But I have to come inside and get a light first, and then now I'll show you guys what it's like taking those off. Okay, so it was kind of hard to tell, but all I had to do was take, there was nuts on these three bolts, I had to take them off, and my exhaust pipe came right off, it was just a flange holding it on, and then these three, let me see if I can find them, these, there's three of these nuts, but that's what I had to do, for mine were, what, what size is this, is this my, I think this is 9 16 yeah, you can't see that, but mine are 9 16 Ugh. So now I'm gonna whoa. So now I'm gonna do the other side. I know a better way to do it now. I was lying really dumb the other way. So now I'm going to do it on the other side. And I actually don't have to take these out. I'm just gonna leave the exhaust hanger up, I think. But time to do the other side. Okay, I have both sides of my exhaust off, but another thing I recommend you do is mark your spark plugs your spark plug wires. I just labeled them driver 1, 2, 3, 4, and on the other side it's just passenger 1, 2, 3, 4. This will just help you know where they go. You know, I just did it, you know, cylinder 1, 2, 3, 4. That's obviously not what these, the cylinder bank is, but it was just easier to mark them like that. So I know where they go back in the proper spot. So we don't have any more issues. And maybe that I'm taking the headers off, I'll probably do spark plugs, but I gotta pull a spark plug out first to see what they even are because I don't remember. Okay guys, so this is like two and a half weeks after I've shot this, most of the stuff in this video, but the clip that's supposed to be here, which is what I'm recording now, is like broken. I don't know why or what's wrong with it, and I ain't really gonna try and figure it out. So pretty much what was in this clip is me showing you how the power steering pump was in the way, so if you're confused later on in the video, my power steering pump was in the way, and I couldn't get my exhaust out. I probably talk about it again, but... With the editing and whatnot, I just wanted to kind of put this in here. This video, this one clip was corrupt, and we were just having a lot of issues, and it took me hours to figure that out. But that's the whole thing. If you end up getting confused, the power steering pump was in the way of the driver's side header, which took forever to get out. But that's not that wasn't the main purpose. So I just wanted to put this in here real quick. Okay, guys. So I did end up pulling all the spark plugs out, and I just wanted to show you that they are absolutely fouled. This is carbon fouled, and these are beyond carbon fouled. And I had to look up, I, I I can never remember what spark plugs, you know, look what they are. Like, what, when they look like this, this, when I pulled it out, they're completely black and they're dry. I had to look it up, because I can never remember. So I looked it up, and it's called carbon fouled. And what did that mean for me? It could have meant three things. It could have meant um, a air filter needed to be replaced, if it's running too rich, or the, what was the last thing? I can't remember the last thing. But the running too rich is absolutely it. Oh, the other thing was idle. Idling too long. I run rich and idle way too long all the time because the car needs like 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes to heat up. And the car's been running rich because it has a rich tune, I'll call it. Because it's not tuned, but it runs rich because it was a race car. 
So the the between the running rich and the idling made makes them look like this. They all look like this. You know, I'll pull another one out. This was the passenger one on the fourth bank on the fourth cylinder. This is the driver's side on the second cylinder. They're they're all bad. They're, they're all awful. So the, it's time to order new ones of these. Just wanted to show you those because I might as well just include it because it is a simple thing. I just have to order eight more of those, get them shipped here, because. It's, I have the time now because I gotta figure out how to take the steering box out. I still gotta hop online and see how that is. But when I figure out what I'm gonna do with that, I'll let you guys know. What's going on guys? I just wanted to give you a quick update. I have not worked on this at all, but my dad came in clutch this morning. Um, he spent his entire morning and most of the afternoon, it's about two o'clock right now, working on these headers. So I just wanted to show you what work he did off camera for me because I'm swamped right now with schoolwork with this whole online stuff from the coronavirus I'm swamped right now so I'm gonna show you what he did so he took the power tools this morning and cleaned these up really nice these were really bad these are awesome looking they're they're, they're nice and smooth now this is the driver's side header this one's still he, he, he was he rinsed it off it's but they're not like no residues even coming off of them they came out really nice so the, this is the, one of them, that's the driver's side, and then over here is the passenger side. This one came out really nice as well. He did a really good job on these. I'm really, I'm really thankful that, you know, he took his time to work on these. You know, it's really, really cool that he was able to help me out, especially off camera. But just gotta clean up these surfaces now, and then they'll be good for paint, which I will show you guys, but I'm not painting right now. Okay guys, I am getting ready to paint these headers but first I'm going to prep them and then I'm going to get into the classic paint times lapse which is almost in like every video but I'm going to paint these and then let them dry for 24 hours and then get them onto the car. Just wanted to show you guys this is the stuff I'm using it's just header paint it's good for up to 1500 degrees it's good up to 2000 degrees and this is definitely what I need because my headers run around 1500 to 1600 and that's pretty much what I'm using well they look a heck of a lot better now I mean that I painted them you know they're still drying they're not a hundred percent and then you have to cure them and then by curing them I have to follow this on the vehicle situation which includes Running at idle for 10 minutes, then cool for 20 minutes. Running at idle for 20 minutes, and then cool for 20 minutes. And then running under normal operating temperatures. So I assume that means like driving around. And then that's for 30 minutes, and I let them completely cool. Because I don't have an oven to bake these in. You're supposed to bake this stuff. I didn't do that when I did this header paint on my brakes, on my drum brakes. But I'm, that's going to really be loud. I'm, gonna run, I'm probably going to run at open headers, in all honesty, to bake them off. So whole neighborhood will know that I'm running my car for idle for literally the only reason to just cure these and not actually be driving it around but I have something coming in for it and I have a big exhaust coming in for this I have a full three and a half inch exhaust straight pipe coming in for this car in about a week or so so that would be a whole new video because I'm also doing an exhaust on the Jeep so I might just combine those into two and th those two kind of projects into one video because um, those are both going to they're going to be really loud and I have nothing but loud cars now it's going to be kind of funny the neighbors not might, might not like it but oh well they're, they're used to it they don't they say they don't hear my cars anyway when I'm coming home not like the Jeep's loud but the Camaro is pretty loud and I guess we'll really find out with a full straight pipe three and a half inch exhaust and I'm going to keep both exhausts for the vehicles anyway but I'll talk about that in the next video that's probably won't be the next video I don't know what the next video is going to be but that'll be another video to look forward to but I'm going to let these dry and then I'm going to put them in the car and I should probably show you guys what I did in the car to get these out so I'm going to head over there. Okay guys, first off I had to take this driver's side wheel off to get the bolts to the power steering pump. I did all this work off camera because it really wasn't worthwhile and it's not really the main point of the video but I had my power steering pump is kind of just chilling out now and it this was a project this took like two hours to get out and it just wasn't worthwhile to put in the video because it's not the main point of the video but I just wanted to show you that this 
caused a lot of delay to get this driver's side header out and the, it was just a lot of work that was really felt unnecessary to get this out but it's all done now and it'd be like that sometimes you know sometimes you got to take a million things off to get one thing out so I have to put all that back together I'm going to do all the work off camera and then show you guys when they're back in and then I'll show you guys kind of it idling and how loud it is open headers because this car hasn't been open headers in probably like five years I would say five years this car hasn't been open headers and I don't even remember what that sounds like because I'm used to the two and a half inch exhaust with a muffler it's going to be ridiculously loud I'll probably drive it around like that for a couple days but I'm going to work on the Jeep now and I, while those are drying and yeah I'll catch up with you guys when I get these headers on Okay guys, I just wanted to do a quick outro because I did all the work off camera because it's hard to hold a camera and have multiple people working on the car and all that. I'm going to try and get a GoPro for my head. Well, I have a GoPro. I'm going to try to get the head strap to actually fit to, like, to my hats and stuff like that so I could work on the car and have it like showing you guys, kind of like I did in the one refinishing of the tire videos. No, not the refinishing, but the cleaning. Anyway, I just want to do a quick outro and show you guys that the headers are on. They're on this, you know, this one was awful to get in, but they're on. I don't even know if you guys can see them. But they're here, so they're there. Um, and it took, it was like five hours to get them back in, I felt like, but I was taking breaks and stuff like that. It was awful trying to get that in with the power steering pump in the way and all that. I don't even want to talk about it. But there is more things coming for this car. I think that the, I think two videos that I'm currently recording side by side are kind of crossing over into one another, so you might get to see stuff. I'm going to roll some clips now. I ran, I ran the car open headers. And um, that was really cool. It was something I've never done before. And I also have a launch video, not a launch video, but a launch RPM video that I'll kind of splice in right here. And those videos, I just shot on my phone real quick while we were working around. But the car will be getting an exhaust soon. And jeeps getting exhaust those are all crossover it's all cross crossing over videos and whatnot now because i'm recording like four videos at once but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video so don't forget to like subscribe comment and share the video with friends and until next time peace